I'm going to go over a brief history of AI and its evolution. If you're not a computer scientist or in an adjacent field, you might not be familiar with the history of artificial intelligence and how we got to the point of generative AI. In this video, we'll embark in an enlightening journey designed to help educators like yourselves understand the roots of ev and evolutions of AI. By exploring key milestones, we aim to provide a solid foundation for appreciating the sophisticated AI technologies we have today. Understanding AI's history is crucial. It not only highlights the technological advancements, but also offers an insight into the challenges and triumphs that have shaped the field. From the early theoretical concepts proposed by visionaries like Alan Turing to the groundbreaking developments in neural networks, AI's stories is rich with innovation. This knowledge will empower you to better integrate AI into your teaching and leverage its potential to enhance educational methodologies. So let's dive into the fascinating history of AI and discover how it all began. Early Beginnings Let's start with the story of the pioneering computer scientist, mathematician, and cryptologist Alan Turing. Among his work, he's known for creating the computational device that cracked the Nazis' Enigma code during World War II, conceiving, conceiving of and taking substantial steps toward the general purpose computer, and, important to this video, proposing a thought experiment to explore the concept of machine intelligence. This experiment is detailed in his 1950s paper, The Imitation Game. The test involves a human ev evaluator interacting with both a machine and a human through a text interface. If the evaluator cannot distinguish between the human and the machine, then the machine is said to be demonstrating human-like intelligence. This experiment, called the Turing test, in modern days often held as the great benchmark for AI to cross. But many contest its value in demonstrating true machine intelligence. One thing is for certain, the imitation game sparked great interest in the concept of AI. AI as a field grew from a conference at Dartmouth College in 1955, organized by John McCarthy, Marvin Minsky, Nathaniel Rochester, and Claude Shannon, the conference aim was to organize a study of artificial intelligence. When discussing the goal of AI, the hardware itself was considered, which was incredibly limited compared to today's standards, as well as the concept of artificial neural networks. Following Turing's test, they determined that natural language was required, as well as the abilities of self-improvement and creativity. That same year, Alan Newell and Herbert, Herbert Simon implemented what many refer to as the first AI program. It was designed to prove theorems in symbolic logic. Using a method of trial and error to find the proofs, it successfully proved 38 of the first 52 theorems in Isaac Newton's Principia Mathematica. Examining their programs, dubbed logic theorist, it might look more like an algorithm than artificial intelligence. However, However, I would argue that AI is, and ever will be, an applied algorithm. The Rise and Fall of Early AI In 1960s and 70s, they saw several significant milestones in the growth of AI. One big development was in expert systems, or creating AI for very specific purposes. In 1965, Dendril was developed at Stanford University for chemical analysis. Its purpose was to take in data from mass spectrometry experiments and infer the molecular structure of the material under test. Dendril afforded substantive, substantial time savings in complex analysis and hypothesis generation. Also developed later at Stanford in 1976 was Mycin, an expert system designed to diagnose bacterial infections from symptoms and even recommend antibiotics. Though it had proven accuracy, it was never implemented due to both legal and ethical concerns. In 1966, a large step toward passing the Turing test came from work by Joseph Weizenbaum, Eliza. This tool sh showed the first signs of natural language conversation between humans and software. Perhaps you'll find one of these example conversations interesting, and I'm not sure if I should do my robot voice or not, but we'll see what happens. Men are all alike. In what way? 
They're always bugging us about something or other. Can you think of a specific example? Well, my boyfriend made me come here. Your boyfriend made you come here? He says I'm depressed much of the time. I'm sorry to hear you are depressed. It's true. I am unhappy. Do you think coming here will help you not to be hap unhappy? I need some help. That much is certain. What would it mean to you if you got some help? Perhaps I could learn to get along with my mother. Tell me more about your family. My mother takes care of me. Who else in your family takes care of you? My father. The conversation goes on a bit more about the human's father and the software itself. It's surprising how well a software from 1966 could create such realistic conversations, even compared to the generative AI tools in 2025. That said, Eliza is very different from modern AI in that it worked on a wide range of specific program or specifically programmed rules. As we'll see later, the large language mod models of 2025 depend more on machine learning or finding parameters itself. Though that started to change in 1988 with IBM's Deep Thought, an AI software that was able to improve its strategy while playing games over time. Despite all the all these successes in AI, there were periods in 1970 referred to as the AI winter. Many researchers were overpromising and underdelivering. In some cases, this was due to overly optimistic goals, but in many cases, it was due to technical limitations. The computing power was just not present to meet the needs of proposed AI at the time. AI Renaissance. In the 1980s, AI research underwent a renaissance, marked by significant advancements that laid the groundwork for modern AI. One of these key developments during this period was the re-emergence of neural networks, largely due to the back-propagation algorithm. In 1986, Jeffrey Hinton, David Rummelhart, and Ronald J. Williams introduced this algorithm, which enabled more efficient training of multi-layer neural networks. This breakthrough allowed neural networks to learn from the data it was previously thought impossible. The backpropagation algorithm remains a foundational technique in modern AI. Neural networks are a set of algorithms inspired by the human brain that are designed to recognize patterns. They interpret sensory data through a kind of machine perception, labeling, or clustering of raw input. The network consists of an input layer, multiple hidden layers, and an output layer. Data is processed through these layers with each neuron or node transforming the input it receives and passing it to the next layer. In parallel, new machine learning techniques such as decision trees and ensemble methods in emerged. Des decision trees split data into branches to make predictions, while ensemble methods like random forest combine multiple models to improve performance. These techniques significantly enhance the robustness and accuracy of AM AI models. They demonstrated the growing sophistication of AI in handling complex, real-world data. A major milestone in AI came in 1997 when IBM's Deep Blue defeated the reigning world chess champion, Garry Kasparov. This event captured global attention and showcased AI's potential in complex decision-making and strategic thinking. Deep Blue's architecture combined advanced search algorithms with sophisticated evaluation functions, allowing it to analyze millions of chess positions per second. This victory not only demonstrated the power of AI, but also highlighted the progress made since the early days of symbolic AI in expert systems. The late 1990s and early 2000s saw an explosion in the availability of data and computational resources, fueling the growth of AI and machine learning. The rise of the internet and digit digitalization of many aspects of life led to the generation of vast amount of data. This era, often referred to as the dawn of big data, provided the raw materials needed for machine learning algorithms to thrive. Concurrent advancements in hardware, particularly the development of powerful GPUs, enabled more effective processing of large data sets and the complex models. GPUs, or graphics processing units, were originally designed for rendering graphics in video games. However, they proved to be highly effective for parallel processing tasks that are required in AI. 
Parallel processing allows multiple calculations or processes to be carried out simultaneously, significantly speeding up data analysis and model training. This period saw the rise of parallel computing, which greatly accelerated AI research and applications. Modern AI As we move into the 2010s, AI saw some of its most exciting breakthroughs, driven by deep learning and the rise of big data. These advancements have fundamentally changed how we interact with technology and open up new possibilities for AI applications. The 2010s were marked with the advent of deep learning, a subset of machine learning that involves neural networks with many, many layers, hence the term deep. These deep neural networks excelled in handling large, complex data sets, which became increasingly available thanks to the digital explosion. Companies and researchers now had access to massive amounts of data essential for training these powerful models. One of the most significant events that happened that highlighted the power of deep learning was the ImageNet competition. In 2012, a team led by Jeffrey Hinton, Alex Krzyzewski, and Ilya Sutskiver used a deep convolutional neural network to achieve a stunning victory in this image recognition contest. Their model, known as AlexNet, drastically outperformed previous methods and reduced the error rate by nearly half. This success was a watershed moment, proving that deep learning could achieve unprecedented accuracy and efficiency in tasks like image and speech recognition. Another landmark achievement came in 2016 when DeepMind's AlphaGo defeated Lee Sedol, one of the world's top Go players. Go, a game known for its complexity and vast number of possible moves, has long been considered a challenge for AI. AlphaGo combined deep learning and with, with reinforcement learning, allowing it to learn strategies through thousands of games played against itself. Its victory was a profound demonstration of AI's potential in mastering tasks that require strategic thinking and intuition. During the 2010s, AI also made significant strides in natural language processing, or NLP. One of the key milestones was development of transformer models introduced in a groundbreaking paper by Viswani et al. in 2017. These models excel in understanding and generating human language, enabling more natural and coherent interactions with AI systems. The transformer models paved the way for the creative for the creation of powerful language models like ChatGPT, which can generate human-like text-based text -based on their inputs it receives. These models have a wide range of applications, from chatbots to virtual assistants to automated content creation and language translation. The advancements in AI during the 2010s have led to numerous practical applications that we now encounter daily. AI-powered recommendation systems suggest move, movies and produce tailored er, and products tailored to our preferences. Virtual assistants like Siri and Alexa help us manage our schedules and control smart home devices. Autonomous vehicles driven by sophisticated AI algorithms are beginning to revolutionize transportation. AI in the present and future. Today, AI has become an integral part of various industries, profoundly impacting fields like healthcare, finance, manufacturing, and education. In healthcare, AI is used for diagnostic imaging, personalized treatment plans, and drug discovery. In finance, algorithms assist in fraud detection, risk management, and automated trading. Manufacturing has seen the rise of smart factories where AI optimizes production processes and predictive maintenance. In education, AI-powered tools are revolutionized, revolutionizing personalized learning, automated, or automating ad administrative tasks, and providing intelligent tutoring systems. Emerging technologies are pushing the boundary of what AI can achieve. Reinforcement learning, where algorithms learn by interacting with their environment and receiving feedback, has shown promise in areas like robotics, gaming, and autonomous systems. Generative Adversarial Networks, GANs, are another exciting development. GANs, or GANs sometimes called, consist of two neural networks, one generating data and the other evaluates it, working, working together to create incredibly realistic videos, images, and music. 
However, as AI technology advances, ethical considerations become increasingly important. Issues like bias in AI systems, data privacy, and the potential for job displacement must be addressed to ensure that AI benefits society as a whole. And real quick, I'm gonna break from my script and talk. Uh, this is something that's always interests me. It's a site called thispersondoesnotexist.com. And so that picture is generated by um, an adversarial GAN. Uh, and, uh, and I always find it interesting to consider that this could be feedstock for bots uh, that are flooding you know, social media and, and other websites. Um, so I highly recommend every time you go to that site, you're going to see a different randomly generated uh, person. Natural language processing has also seen significant advances. Models like ChatGPT and Google Gemini are leading the way, competing to provide more accurate and natural conversation agents. These models are used in various applications from consumer service chatbots to personal virtual assistants. The competition between ChatGPT and Google Gemini is driving rapid advancements in this field. And I suppose at the time of recording, another thing is, uh, is deep seek. Uh, that's uh, something I haven't learned a lot about, but it seems to be making some waves in the fact that it is quite energy efficient. Looking to the future, AI is poised to continue its rapid revolution. Trends suggest that AI will become even more embedded in our daily lives with advancements in natural language processing enabling more sophisticated virtual assistants and conversational agents. The development of general AI systems that possess human-like cognitive abilities remains a long-term goal. Additionally, AI is expected to play a crucial role in advancing global or, uh, in addressing global challenges such as climate change, healthcare, accessibility, and sustainable development. Conclusion. We've covered a lot of ground in this video. We started with Alan Turing's pioneering work, including his famous Turing test, which laid the groundwork for thinking about machine intelligence. We saw how the Dartmouth Conference in 1955 formalized AI as a field of study, leading to the development of early AI programs like Logic Theorist. We then explored the rise and fall of early AI, noting significant achievements like the expert systems Dendril and Mycin. These systems showcased AI's potential to, in specific domains, but also highlighted the limitations that led to periods of disillusionment known as AI winters. The 1980s brought a renaissance in AI with the resurgence of neural networks and machine learning techniques. This era laid the foundation for modern AI. We discussed major milestones such as IBM's Deep Blue, Learn Deep Blue defeating Gary Kasparov and the ex explosion of big data and computational power in the late 1990s and early 2000s. In the 2010s, deep learning and big data transformed AI once again. Breakthroughs in natural language processing, exemplified by models like ChatGPT and Google Gemini, have revolutionized how we interact with technology. Understanding AI's history is vital for educators. It not only provides context for current technologies, but also equips you with the knowledge to critically evaluate and effectively integrate AI into your teaching. As AI continues to evolve, this historical perspective will help you stay informed and make the most of AI's potential in education.